James Ivers was owned by a man, E.W. Harris, for about 25 years before he was sold for about $800, I believe, to John Ivers. And eventually, John Ivers purchased James' wife, Harriet, and their three children. So they were reunited as a family. James Ivers enlisted in the Union Army right out here on the grounds of what was called Courthouse Park when I was growing up. He enlisted in 1863, uh, at the time when the Union government had opened up an enlistment to free black men or former slaves. Courthouse Park had been a former place where slaves were bought and sold. So I find it appropriate that the former courthouse square was renamed in his honor. And the U.S. Colored Troop statue being placed here, I find it appropriate because of the history of the site. It is important because there need to be more monuments in this country recognizing the sacrifices, accomplishments, and contributions people of color have made to the greatness of this country. Uh, it's also important because there are people in this country who do not want our stories told, warts and all. Our stories are like the stories of all Americans. They're American history. <laughs>